Have you ever wondered why some people seem to have it all figured out while you're struggling to make ends meet? What if I told you that the difference between financial freedom and living paycheck to paycheck could be just five simple steps? Intrigued? You should be. Hello everyone. Welcome back to Practical Pursuits HQ. I'm John, and today we're diving deep into a topic that can literally change your life. Financial planning for a great future. Stick around, because by the end of this video, you'll have a roadmap to financial success that you can start implementing today. Let's get into it. I get it. You might feel like you've heard about goal setting a thousand times. But the truth is, it's the cornerstone of any successful financial plan. Think of it as setting the GPS coordinates for your wealth journey. Here's a twist. Instead of merely jotting down goals, let's prioritize them. Which ones are non-negotiable and which ones can wait? Prioritizing helps you allocate resources more effectively. And don't just keep these goals in your head or buried in an app. Pin them somewhere you can see daily. Make them a part of your environment. We're not just talking about aimless targets. We're focusing on smart goals. What's crucial here is the letter A for achievable. Can you realistically achieve this goal with your current income and commitments? If not, what needs to change? This approach ensures you're not setting yourself up for failure from the get-go. So, are you ready to elevate your financial planning? Whether you're using an old-school notebook or a digital app, get those goals down and prioritized. Because here at Practical Pursuits HQ, we're not about wishful thinking. We're about actionable steps to a thriving financial future. Step 2. Create a budget. Now, if setting goals is your financial roadmap, then budgeting is your vehicle's fuel gauge. It's not enough to know where you're going. You also need to manage your resources to get there. So, let's talk about creating a budget that not only makes sense, but also makes sense. Unintended. First off, why is budgeting so important? Well, it's simple. If you don't control your money, it will control you. A budget gives you the power to dictate where each dollar goes, ensuring that you're not bleeding cash on things that don't align with your financial goals. Now, onto the types of budgets. You've probably heard of zero-based budgeting. This approach makes sure every dollar has a job. At the end of the month, your budget should zero out, meaning income minus expenses equals zero. It's a proactive way to make sure you're not wasting money. Another popular approach is the 50-30-20 rule. Here, you allocate 50% of your income to needs, 30% to wants, and a solid 20% to savings and investments. It's an easy formula but incredibly effective, especially if you're just starting out with budgeting. In summary, whether you go for zero-based budgeting or stick to the 50-30-20 rule, the point is to have a plan for your money. Budgeting is less about restriction and more about liberation. It frees you from financial uncertainty and stress, putting you firmly in the driver's seat on the road to financial success. So, are you ready to fuel your journey with a well-crafted budget? Step 3. Build an emergency fund. Now let's talk about something that often gets overlooked but is absolutely vital. Building an emergency fund. Think of this as your financial safety net. It's not for trips or for buying that fancy gadget you've had your eye on. This is for life's curveballs. Medical emergencies, unexpected car repairs, or even sudden job loss. Why is this so important? An emergency fund acts as a financial buffer, reducing the need to dip into your long-term savings or worse, accumulating high-interest debt. Without the safety net, you're essentially walking a financial tightrope without a net. High stakes, right? So, how big should this emergency fund be? The general advice is to stash away at least three to six months worth of living expenses. Yeah, it sounds like a lot, but remember, it's not about how fast you can fill it up. It's about starting. Even a small fund can be a lifesaver. Start with a reachable goal, say $1,000, and then build it up from there. By now you might be wondering, where should you keep this fund? Ideally, in a high-yield savings account, easily accessible but separate from your regular checking account. This keeps the money within arm's reach but reduces the temptation to dip into it. In a nutshell, an emergency fund is your financial bodyguard, shielding you from unplanned expenses that could derail your goals. So if you haven't started building yours yet, consider this your wake-up call. Step 4. Invest for the long term. You've set goals. You've got a budget. 
and your emergency fund is in place. Now, we play the long game. I'm talking about investing. And no, it's not just for Wall Street wizards, it's for anyone looking to amplify their financial growth. First, let's talk about types. Stocks offer potentially high returns but come with higher risks. Bonds are safer, but the returns are generally lower. Real estate? It's a tangible asset, often less volatile, and it can provide a steady income stream through rentals. Each investment type has its own pros and cons, and the trick is to diversify, so you're not putting all your eggs in one basket. Now, about risk and return. These two are like conjoined twins. You rarely get one without the other. High-risk investments like stocks can bring substantial returns, but they can also plummet, sometimes overnight. On the other end, bonds are considered safer but offer modest returns. Your risk tolerance, how much risk you're comfortable taking on, should dictate your investment mix. So how do you get started? Well, if the world of investing feels like a maze, consider talking to a financial advisor. But if you're a DIY kind of person, there are plenty of resources and platforms to help you kickstart your investment journey. Remember, the goal here isn't to get rich quick, it's to build a robust financial portfolio that will stand the test of time. In summary, long-term investing is not about timing the market, it's about time in the market. So don't wait for the perfect moment to invest, the perfect moment is now. If you're finding this content valuable, do me a quick favor and hit that thumbs up button below. It really helps the channel and ensures you don't miss out on future tips to level up your life. Thanks, and let's keep rolling. Step 5. Review and Adjust You've made it to the final step, and it's one that never truly ends. Financial planning isn't a set-it-and-forget-it deal. It's a living, breathing entity that requires regular checkups, just like your health. So, let's delve into the importance of reviewing and adjusting your financial strategies. Why do you need regular financial checkups? Think about it. Life changes. New jobs, promotions, family additions, or even global pandemics can throw a wrench into your previous plans. Regular reviews ensure that you're still on track and allow you to make timely adjustments before small issues snowball into big problems. So, when should you review your financial plans? A good rule of thumb is at least once a quarter. Mark it in your calendar, set a reminder, do whatever it takes to make it a habit. There are other triggers too. Major life events like marriage, buying a home, or a career switch should automatically prompt a financial review. So, how do you adjust? Start by revisiting your goals. Are they still relevant? Next, scrutinize your budget. Maybe you're consistently underspending in some categories and can reallocate those funds elsewhere. Don't forget your investments. Market conditions change, and your portfolio may need rebalancing to align with your current risk tolerance. To sum it up, the road to financial freedom isn't a straight line. It's more like a winding path with occasional bumps and detours. Regularly reviewing and adjusting your financial plans ensures you stay on course, no matter what life throws your way. So, are you ready to make these steps a permanent fixture in your financial journey? I hope so because the payoffs are well worth the effort. You've made it to the end of our step-by-step -step guide, but we're not done yet. I've got a couple of extra tips to supercharge your financial game. These aren't just optional add-ons. Think of them as the turbo boosters to your financial spaceship. First up, automating your savings and investments. Let's be real. Discipline is tough. But what if I told you that you can take the human error out of the equation? By setting up automatic transfers, you make sure a portion of your income goes straight into savings or investments, almost like a non-negotiable bill. It's the classic, out-of-sight, out-of-mind strategy, and it works wonders for accumulating wealth without lifting a finger. Next, let's talk tax planning. I know taxes aren't the most exciting topic, but they can make or break your financial health. Being savvy about taxes means more than just filing them on time. It's about understanding tax deductions, tax credits, and investment options that are tax efficient. Have you ever heard of a Roth IRA or a 401k? These are not just retirement savings vehicles, they're also powerful tax planning tools. So, consider consulting a tax advisor to minimize your liability and maximize your returns. Automating your finances and being smart about taxes aren't just afterthoughts, they're integral parts of a robust financial plan. Implementing these bonus tips can give you that extra edge, 
propelling you closer to your financial goals at a much faster rate. So, why settle for basic when you can go for the bonus level? So there you have it. A comprehensive guide to secure your financial future. To quickly recap, we covered five pivotal steps. Setting financial goals. Creating a budget. Building an emergency fund. Investing for the long term. And the importance of regular reviews and adjustments. Plus, those bonus tips on automating your finances and smart tax planning. Trust me, implementing these steps can be the game changer you've been looking for. You're not just surviving, you're thriving. Imagine the peace of mind that comes from knowing you're financially secure, not just for today, but for the long haul. Financial freedom isn't a myth, it's attainable, and you've got the tools to reach it. All that's left is action and ongoing education. Don't just consume this information, apply it. Keep learning, keep growing, and keep striving for that life of abundance you deserve. Before you go, if you found value in this video, please hit that subscribe button and give us a thumbs up. Share it with anyone you think could benefit from this financial wisdom. We're all on this journey together, and the more we share, the more we grow. That's a wrap for today's episode. Thank you for choosing Practical Pursuits HQ as your source for practical wisdom and actionable steps. Remember, your best investment is in yourself. So, go out there and make your future great. Until next time, take care.